Do any of these shots remind you of what you sometimes do when you're faced with a difficult shot from the sand? Oh! If any of these shots remind you of a recent experience from the sand or around the green, then watch while Ralph Maltby, famous golf club designer and innovator, shows you how to recover from those difficult lies using a fabulous new golf club design, the Sand Putter. Mr. Maltby's background is impressive. He has influenced every golf club manufacturer worldwide because of his teachings and writings. Mr. Maltby's first book, Golf Club Design, Fitting, Alteration and Repair, was published in 1974 and is now in its 12th printing and 4th edition. The book, along with Mr. Maltby's other works, is sold worldwide and the combined three quarters of a million copies are in circulation. The books are the PGA of America's official teaching manuals for golf professionals in their business schools and training seminars. Mr. Maltby has been awarded numerous patents for golf club designs as well as machine, tool and gauge designs. And in 1996, he was inducted into the Professional Clubmaker Society Hall of Fame, which includes such notables as Tom Morris Sr. and Willie Ochterlone of St. Andrews, Scotland. Mr. Maltby is the preeminent designer of golf clubs, and the sand putter is just the latest innovation in the Maltby line of golf clubs. Wow, you're in there pretty tight, Ralph. I hit a good shot, but uh, just want to remind you, Mark, that this is the 18th hole, yeah. And you're one down. I usually don't say that, but you're one down. Thanks for the reminder. Let's okay. see what I can do. Oh. oh. Whoops. Oh. Get out of there. Whoops. Bunker again. Geez, I was rooting for you, too. Thanks a lot. I haven't had much luck so far today from those bunkers. No, and my ball's really looking good sitting up it there is. about six feet away. Well, let's go and finish the hole off. Okay. Oh, all right, I concede. You're conceding the match? Well, look at that, just like all the other shots out of the bunker today. Yeah, wasn't I concede. not very good. There's something I'd like to show you. Oh, okay. I have a brand new invention that will prevent that from happening. The sand wedge has remained virtually unchanged since the mid-1930s when Gene Sarazen invented it. Gene's idea was to weld some additional metal to the back of a pitching wedge's sole to make it a little wider. This was a big improvement, but the stroke required to make it work requires a lot of practice and is one of the most difficult shots in golf, especially for the average golfer. Even recent radical looking sand wedge designs have fallen short of the mark because they still required the golfer to take an explosion shot, which is very difficult to perform. Ralph Maltby decided that a different approach would be to invent a new club that would work best with a much simpler and easier to repeat swing for those players who have trouble with sand shots as well as any other shot from within 40 yards of the green. Let me repeat those two key points. The sand putter is a revolutionary design whose performance is enhanced by using not a difficult explosion shot type swing but by using a greatly simplified explosion swing, almost an extended putt swing. Hence the name, Sand Putter. It's a new club called the Sand Putter. Wow, that's an Doesn't look like design. a conventional club, right? I mean, it's totally different. Uh-huh. Uh, it's designed to more simply get the ball out of a bunker. Uh-huh. And if you would like, I'll show you how to do it and a little bit on how it works. Yeah, I'd like to very much. Okay. Mark, you know that with a regular sand club, you get into the bunker and you kind of open your stance. Right. And you s take the club face and you lay it open. You take the club face back from the outside in, cut across the ball, hit about an inch behind it, and pop it out. Mm -hmm. A lot of skill is required to hit that particular shot. Yeah, yeah. And the reason I developed this club is to eliminate a lot of the variables, reduce the skill level, and make it easy for anyone that has any kind of problems in the sand trap to get out of it more easily. Okay. So let me show you how this works much easier. Great. I'm going to take and set a ball right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to stand open to the ball. I'm going in and take a dead square stance. My target's right there and I'm going to stay square to it. 
I'm not going to roll the face of the club open. I'm going to hold it dead square. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to, again, just like a sand club, I'm going to hit about an inch to an inch and a quarter behind the ball. Okay. That doesn't change. Okay. But I'm going to take this club back about a half to three quarter, five eighths, depending on how far I want to hit it. But I'm not going outside. I'm going to take the club straight back, my normal swing, square face, and pop the ball out onto the green. Okay. So this is how it works. So I got the square stance. Ball's a little bit forward to the center of my stance. I've got the face dead square. Take a short back swing. Pop the ball right out onto the wow. green, rolling right down to the pin. That's Can't pretty believe. impressive. It's so simple. All you have to do is square stance, pick an inch behind the ball, take it back on your normal swing, square face, pop it out every single time. Well, can I try? You certainly can. Great. I have another ball here. Oh, thank you. I never want to see that other club again. And that's the reason I explained it to you first, Mark, before you hit it, because the natural tendency, you'd walk in and say, well, how do I hit this thing? Right, because it's so different. Right, looking. and how you hit it is take everything square, a right. little short swing, and pop it right out. All right, let me see if I got this straight. Yeah, you talk it back to me. All right, square up the stance. Got it. more open. Right. Square the leading edge up with the hole. Correct. Select a point about one inch behind the ball. Take the club back about halfway or three quarters. Right, depending on the distance you're going to hit it. And then just splash the ball out of the sand. Good terminology. Splash it out because right. it won't dig in. It'll just splash the ball right under it and right out. Well, let's see what I can do here. Okay. Wow, that was close. That's the best shot I've hit out of the sand all day. You see how easy it is to use? You'll get repeatability time and time again just by squaring up and hitting the ball. You want? Let's try one more. That was great. Just a little softer. And this is a downhill. This goes away from us real quick. So just a little softer and it'll pop right in there. Oh man, Mark. This could go in. It could go in. Get in there! Oh! Oh, it's right on the edge. What a great golf club. Now that's only two times that you've actually used this thing, and the first one went out about, I'd say that's about eight feet past, because it was downhill and you've never hit it before. Right. And now you go out and you blast it out, and it rolls down. What a golf club. It's amazing. Well, Ralph, I'm excited. Let's go someplace where you can show me some of these other shots. Okay. I'm ready to do it right now. All right. Mark, this is one of the shots I was talking to you about when we were standing over in the bunker. Right. And this one brings fear into a lot of people's hearts. And here we've got a ball sitting here. We didn't get on the green. We've got to go over this sand trap and get up close to the pin. Right. Well, with a normal sand club, when you stand here, the tendency is going to be what? You want to make sure you do not get in the bunker. Right. So you generally blade it over the green. Yeah. And then after you blade one or two over the green, the next thing is, well, geez, I don't want to do that. So now you hit down into it and you stick it and the ball goes in the bunker. Mm -hmm. Well, again, as explained uh, a few times in this, this sole tends to not want to take a divot. It will not dig in. Right. So just like a bunker shot, we're going to hit this same shot up to that pin, the same as we would have if we were in the sand trap. Okay. okay. Let me see. So here's the demo. I'm going to stand dead square to my target right there. I'm going to square the face up, play it slightly forward to the center of my stance. I don't have to do anything tricky. I'm going to take it back just a little ways. I'm going to aim behind the ball, inch to inch and a half, anywhere in there. Oh, so just like that sand explosion shot where you're, again, picking out a spot one inch behind the ball? Correct. Wow. And now in my mind, I don't have to worry about hitting a chunk or fat shot. I'm taking that out of the equation. All I can do is hit down into this ball, Forget the fat stuff, let the club do the work, and pop it up on the green. Takes the whole bunker right out of my mind. Oh, this I got to see. And it's as easy as pie. So I just take it like this, take it back, pop it over. Wow. And I'm on the green. Very and I good. hit that one a little firm. I'm past about, uh, I'd say, 12 feet. But you can see how easy the shot is. You want me to do another yeah, one? Yeah, let me Then I want you to do it. Okay, we just set it there in the grass. And we can even, this works even great off of a very tight hard pan kind of lie. We just set it in the grass again, and I'll even try to hit this one softer, okay? All right. Knowing I can't chunk it, all I can do is hit it too soft, but I'm just going to take it, pop it over. Ooh, wow. landed next to the pin. I'd say that's fairly consistent, Mark. And the thing that I like about this club is you notice the direction. 
square stance, square face, the direction is right at the pin. Mark, would you like to try one? Yeah, very much so. Okay, you take the sand putter, there's okay. a ball, just set it anywhere down there as tight a lie as you want, it doesn't matter. All right, so again, take the club back halfway and just bounce it in about an inch behind the Everything's ball. Everything's square and aim right at the pin, no, nothing tricky. Just nice and soft. Wow, there's look how the, high that goes. Oh, it almost hit the pin. It almost hit the pin. And right now, with yours. You see how you can't hit it right or left? You yeah. line up and the ball goes right to the That's pin. That's three shots exactly at the flag I stick. know, we haven't touched the ball. There they sit. If a golfer has any fear of the sand, he's just praying that when he knocks it into the bunker, that he can get out his putter and putt out of it. Well, that just doesn't happen today. Maybe one out of a thousand shots, depending on the type of golf course you're on. But almost always, you're going to have some kind of a lip. And I've got the ball sitting here about 12 inches below this lip. And even if there was a bunker that would say would have a 24-inch lip, the sand putter will still work out of it. So this ball sitting 12 inches below the lip, I can actually putt out of this bunker using the sand putter. And what I'm going to do is set up and use a normal putting stroke. It's going to be all shoulders, stiff-wristed, kind of stiff-armed, and just pop it right out of the bunker. It works every time. And like I say, the lip height can be fairly deep, and it still works. So I'm going to set up with my putting stroke just like this, dead square everything, hit pick just a teeny bit behind the ball, set the putter down, take the putting stroke. So... If you have any fear of being in a sand trap, and you've just seen this example of where you can take the sand putter and actually putt out of bunkers and use it in many different varying situations, then this is the club for you because it can make you a great sand player and you don't even have to hit an explosion shot. Besides being a great club in the sand, there's another great feature of the sand putter, and that's from tight crop fairways as we have right out here. And what the sand putter will do is it tends not to take a divot. So let's look at the sand club first and say a conventional sand club hitting a shot into the green from 20 to 40 yards out. And when I do that, there are two things that can happen that are bad. One is I take the regular sand club, I swing down into the shot, and I stick the club into the ground. So I hit a fat chunk shot. The other thing that's bad that can happen is once I've done that a couple times, I swing into it and I hit a couple thinner skull shots over the green. So I'm trying to get my sand club to hit the shot just down into the ball, a little bit into the turf, and knock it up on the green. It's a difficult shot that requires a lot of skill level. But when I take the sand putter, which we've already showed you how great the sand putter works out of sand, and we take it and we use it off the fairway, it has a tremendous advantage in skill level in what it'll do versus the sand club. One of its advantages is you can't take a divot with the sand putter. And by not taking a divot, that eliminates one of the big problems that we had with that. So if I get out of my mind the fact that, I'm gonna that I cannot take a divot with the sand putter and that all I've got to do now is go down into the ball and I can pick a spot up to one and a half inches back behind the ball, that I can just go down into the ground, let the sand putter skid across the ground, it hits the ball, lofts it right up onto the green. The only thing I have to avoid now is one bad thing can happen with this club, and that's actually sculling the ball and knocking it over through the green. So let me show you how it works because this wide sole is part of its secret. It's got a double angle on it and you just don't take divots and it works just great. Move a ball over here. The stance is basically square. The club itself is square to the intended line. You don't want to get open and do all the fancy things. Just set it down behind it. Just swing. Pop it right up onto the green. Ooh, that's better than I know how to do. That was a great shot. Notice there's no divot. The sand putter went right through and glided through, and I aimed at least an inch to an inch and a half behind the ball, and I just let it skid in. Let's do it again one more time. Set another one over here. A line up fairly square. If I'm close to the green, incidentally, I can take a putting stance and chip the thing up on, but I'm out right now 20 to 40 yard range. And the sand putter is good for up to approximately 40 yards. I wouldn't go beyond that. It's not designed for that. So now I just set up again fairly square, take my stance, aim a little behind it, pop the ball right up, ex exact same spot as the one I just hit before. The accuracy and repeatability of this club is just outstanding. 
You aim to a spot, you stand square to that spot, you square the blade of the sand putter to that spot, and you come down and you hit the shot and it goes where you're aiming. There's none of this sand club stuff where you get the stance open, you got to open the blade up to cut it a little bit. You don't do that with the sand putter. This takes the high skill element out of the swing and out of the shot. It also takes your mind out of the shot from the standpoint that you don't have all these things that can go wrong. This club is very simple to hit. Let me show you a little trick that you cannot do with a sand club unless you're a golf professional and you practice it a lot. I'm going to take right here, well let me do this, we're going to set up four balls and without a lot of thinking other than I'm going to hit at least an inch to an inch and a half behind the ball I'm going to step up to this one and I'm going to hit these in kind of rapid succession. I hit the first one, popped it right up there, popped it right up there, I hit the third one, popped it right up there, and I hit the fourth one, popped it right up there. Every one of those balls went the same distance, they went on the same direction. Now try that with a sand club and you'd have one stuck in the ground, you'd have divots laying out all over here. All I did was pick my spot behind the ball, inch to inch and a half, hit right into it, and the ball popped right up every single time. And I can tell you that I am not that good to be able to do that with a sand club. Now that you've seen how the sand putter is used for some typical trouble shots, watch while Ralph shows you how versatile the sand putter is for even tougher shots. Oh, I found it. This is not a good situation to be in. We're talking about six inch long rough here, and at best it's a very difficult shot with a sand club because the tendency is to go down and try to get the ball out, and sometimes you chunk it from this position also. So one of the advantages of the sand putter is the fact that it's sort of feature rich, if you will, and there's another feature on this that I haven't explained so far, and that is that the sand putter head is a 350 gram head. Now what does that mean to this shot or to you? 350 grams is about 50 grams heavier than a 297 to 300 gram sand club. The extra head weight in the sand putter is one of its secrets in the bunkers, in the traps that we've showed so far, but it's also a secret here. It helps the club head continue through the heavy grass, allowing the ball to pop out and up to the green. Since the sand putter won't dig in, I'm going to hit this shot out of the heavy grass, pop it right on up to the pin, and it should glide right through it. So I'll just set up a little bit on a hill. I mean, you have to improvise on all these shots. I'll set up a little bit. I'm going to play the ball, though, just a little forward. I don't want the ball back on my stance. I want it up just a little bit to make sure that I can glide through it and I can loft it out of the heavy grass and onto the green. So I'll set up. There's my pin. So the sand putter. This is another opportunity for the sand putter to shine and to help the average player get the ball out of grasses like this. There are many shots in golf that strike fear into a golfer's heart. And here's another one. My ball's rolled up to the left of this green. Wasn't that bad a shot. 12, 13 feet off the green and it's rolled on to sort of a dead hard pan spot. Very difficult to get the ball off of these. And boy, with a sand club, this is tough. A lot of people would take their putter or try to chip it with a less lofted club. The sand putter works great here because of the sole design. I'm going to step up and there are two techniques that I can use to hit this ball. I can use the putting stroke or a little modified, just a little chip stroke. Just stand square and watch what happens when I do it. Here's the putting stroke first. I set up square, ball forward where it normally would be. Arms and wrists are basically locked. I'm going to make it a shoulder stroke and I just take it back. It's an excellent shot for that. And the second technique would be to take, I'll place another ball down here, and this is the same exact stance and all that, and you're hitting just a little bit behind the ball, not much, but I'm standing right here again, everything's square, I'm going to use a little more wrist. Rolled right up to the pin. So the sand putter starts taking all these shots of fear out of the game. Well, that was an impressive display. I'm convinced. What else can you tell me about the club, Ralph? Well, Mark, you already saw a number of the features of the club and what it can do. And the key thing to reiterate 
is the fact that with this sole design, this club does not take a divot and doesn't dig into the ground. And the reasons for that are the double radius on the sole and the rounded leading edge that allow the club to always go in and glide right into the ball and lift it up. Now the real features of it for the people that really like the technical information are, first off, the sand putter is 54 degrees in loft versus a normal 56 degree lofted sand iron. In all of our testing, we tried different lofts, higher lofts and lower lofts, and what happened in the different lofts were that if we got too much loft on the club, it tended to have too sharp a leading edge. Too little a loft, it tended to hit the ball too low. So the 54 degrees is an optimum loft for this club. You've got 64 degrees of lie angle on it, the same as a basic sand club, so you stand up to the same distance away from the ball as you would on a normal sand club. The sand putter has additional features, and, and the one that I like is this face with this polymer insert port in it, number one, gives it decent feel, but more importantly to me, it allows you to line the ball up with this large 80% hitting surface on the face. There's also a line on the top so that when you set the sand putter down behind a ball, the club is lined up perfectly to your target and dead square behind the ball. And Mark, a feature that I really particularly like too, besides all this lineup stuff and all the numerous features this club has, is the shaft is offset a half inch and comes out of the top of the club. Therefore, you cannot shank this club. If anyone has shanked a ball in a sand trap, they know how miserable that can be. You lay the club open, you catch the hosel. Can't do it with this. You've got the entire face to hit the ball with. You don't even worry about this hosel area. And it allows you to see the face sitting out. It's a progressed face, different than an iron club normally. And it sits out there and you can line up and you know exactly where it's at when you swing it. The confidence that you generate from this golf club is incredible and it allows you to become very consistent and you get a great mental image and a great relaxation factor, if you will, over the anxiety that golf can create on these shots from 40 yards and in, and particularly the bunker shot. Yes! Ralph Maltby has just shown you how to use the sand putter from a variety of different situations. Remember, the sand putter is a revolutionary design whose performance is enhanced by using Ralph's simplified swing keys as described in the video. If you don't recall these swing keys, then watch the video again. Then go out and enjoy golf as you never have before with your sand putter.